Yeah, people come to hospital one to two hours before they are asked to fast for four to six hours uh, before an angiogram. Um, and, uh, and otherwise there is uh, minimal preparation needed. So when a patient um, comes to the catheter laboratory, uh, that's the, the room where we call, uh, which is where procedures like this are done, uh, the patient is, uh, is raped by the, uh, by the catheter laboratory staff. Uh, they are completely awake. If some people feel anxious, they can be given um, uh, some set, um, uh, agent which helps sedate them uh, to help ease their anxiety, but generally there's no other pre-medication required. Um, the access site, whether it be the radial artery or the femoral artery, is, is draped with sterile drapes, and um, the access site is cleaned with a, a sterile cleaning solution. Um, and then the doctor, the cardiologist, will, um, will inject some local anaesthetic just under the skin and then we'll access the artery with a, a very thin small needle which again is painless because of the anaesthetic and then after we enter the blood uh, enter the artery we pass a tube called a sheath uh, into the artery now that sheath uh, serves as a, um, a gate as it were to then pass the tubes called the catheters to the heart arteries so all this is done while the patient is awake uh, and for some patients, in some cases, they need to be awake because they need to follow the instructions of the cardiologist who's doing the procedure. Sometimes we ask the patients to take a big breath and that helps us pass the catheters uh, and the tubes to, uh, to the heart. So it's, uh, and the procedure typically takes about uh, five to 10 minutes. Uh, it's painless and, and once it's finished, um, all the tubes are removed and the sheath, which is that gate, um, that tube which serves as a gate is also removed at the same time and, uh, and then a, a pressure bandage is usually applied to the, um, to the access site to prevent any bleeding complications.